Hello everyone, Kryptonite here and welcome back to another Hygieneer Tips and Tricks video. So in this video we're going to be talking about conveyor belts, how they all work and what they all do, and also the hooks to go with the conveyor belts as well. So first of all, in this episode we're going to be talking about this one right here, which is the splitter conveyor. That is going to be our main focus this episode. I'll show you how it works and what the benefits are. But quickly, we're just going to run through all of these options just so you know what's coming up in the series. So we've got a left hand conveyor, which is self-explanatory. It's a left hand corner. Same for the right hand one. We've got the splitter conveyor belt, which we're going to be talking about in this episode. We've got the standard straight conveyor, that one's self-explanatory, and then we've got the vertical conveyor as well, that one's also self-explanatory. Now in regards to the hooks, they have kind of changed the conveyor belt system in the update 2.0, so instead of having individual conveyors with these attachments, these come as hooks now and you can hook them on the straight conveyors, which just makes things a bit easier and a bit more customizable and I kind of like the way that they've done this. So we'll start with the Iron Force Shredder. So this one is a tier one dirt shredder, basically just shreds excess dirt down to a smaller physical side. This one is a tier two Cloudium version, which is just an upgraded version of the tier one. Here we have the gem polisher hook. This one basically polishes gems that pass through. It basically replaces the grindstone, so you don't have to do it manually, you can do it automatically. When we come to this episode, I'll show you the best way to use this in and what to use it in conjunction with. And then finally, we have the centralizer hook. I'll be doing this in the next episode and there's a, a nice hidden feature with this centralizer hook so make sure you look out for a future episode with this one and I'll reveal the hidden trick with this one. So without further ado let's get straight into teaching you how the splitter conveyor works. So basically I've had my drill mine a little bit I've just had this I've just quickly set this up just to showcase this to all you guys so these conveyor sorters basically replace this here the hand sorter where you'd put the resource you wanted on here and it would distribute it out of here and split the rest out this way. This basically can replaces that and makes it a lot more automated and perfect for organizing your conveyor belts. So we'll pop on our drill and I'll showcase you what happens if you don't put anything on top of these. It will, it will just pick and choose wherever it wants to put whatever resource. So if we switch our drill off for the moment and I'll show guys how this works. So say we want to distribute our gold down into here, into whatever we wish, either a smelter or a cauldron or whatever we wanted to put it in. If we just hop up here and we put our gold resource on this little tray here, and let's say the next one we want, let's go for shards on this one. So we'll put our shards here, so say we want our shards there and we will put our iron here and then the last one we could for instance put our gems on that one and then if I switch the drill back on you will see that the iron will travel all the way through to here and go down this one gold on that one and then eventually we might get a shard up through this one but as you can see, it's a very sweet, efficient way. There uh, we go, we have a gem. That's lovely. So because this one hasn't got anything picked on, but these three have, anything that isn't selected here will just most probably go off this one. If we pop our gems there now, we can do that. And as you can see, the shards come off that one as well. So basically, it is as simple as that. That's how the sorter conveyor works. It makes your mining operation very efficient, in my opinion. You can have a lot of fun with these. You can also, instead of just putting plain resources on, if you wanted to extend it, so say you had um, smelters down here, for instance, or you had auto smelters here, and you had another conveyor belt system sort of set up along here. You could put these sorters on your second conveyor belt system. You could put like your gold bars and your iron bars and everything like that. And it would also distribute all of them as well. So you can make a lot of arrangements with these sorters. They're really handy to have. So I hope you liked the video and found it very helpful. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button as well for more hints and tips and Hydroneer videos. And thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.